follow these 15 travel tips before visiting Africa. We want to give you 15 travel tips before visiting Africa that will make your adventure super fun. It's great if you would like to visit the beauty that is Africa. Standing as the world's second largest continent comprising of 54 countries, the beauty of this continent is as unique as it is intriguing. With its different tourist attractions like the Masai Mara National Park in Kenya and Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, it is no surprise that this continent catches your fancy. But as with every new destination, some boxes must be checked. We're not trying to dampen your already thought out dreams of riding a camel's back in the Sahara or dipping your feet in Lake Victoria, but we are sure you wouldn't like to be stopped at the airport, come down with a serious illness or worse still, not be able to take it the sights. The horror. Well, now we're sure you're wondering, what are these things I need to check and notice before my trip? No worries, we have heard and answered your pleas. We have here a list of 15 travel tips you should know before visiting this beautiful continent. Read further to ensure a flawless experience during your travel. Remember to check the visa requirements for each country. There is no universal visa that grants you entry into every and any country in Africa. You can find out all the necessary information at the nearest embassy in your country. Some countries may be visa-free but on the other hand, some may be visa on entry. And there would be some that you need to have applied for in advance. All these also depend on the passport you hold. Pick out the destinations on your journey. If we're being honest, there is a lot of beauty in Africa and you might be tempted to visit it all at once, but the sad truth is that this is not possible. But we have some tips to help you decide what countries you may want to visit first. First, you may want to research into general top 10 African countries to visit based on tourist attractions, budget, historical sites, big cities, wildlife, and so on. What you decide on would be dependent on what is most convenient for you. You should do extensive research into all your destinations. Doing general reading on the continent just won't do. Doing this would only let you fall victim to a lot of wrong assumptions. So, if countries like Nigeria and Ethiopia catch your fancy, do specific research on these countries and try to learn a few things about their culture. You should also pack your clothes according to the weather at the time you are traveling. It's not always hot. You can't see it all. Again, we agree, the continent is extremely beautiful, but you cannot see it all. Except for cases where you have set aside an entire year to explore Africa, it would be impossible to see everything. Try and write down the places that intrigue you the most and try and narrow it down till it's practicable. Pack all you need for your trip. As with any trip, it is not advised to depend on buying your extra things in the place you are visiting. Obvious problems may arise like differences in quality and price. So, you should try and pack all the essentials to save space and money. General things you must carry along include a universal travel adapter, a power bank, a microfiber travel towel, a first aid kit, and a collapsible water bottle. Don't forget your sunscreen. It's not a commonly used product in Africa so it may be pricey. Your security comes first. As much as the welcome you'll receive would be amazing, this doesn't stop you from being attacked by criminals. Pickpockets are saturated in big cities especially so you should protect your money and valuables as much as you can. Try wearing cross bags and your back bags in front instead of the back. Although, this should not change your mind regarding taking the trip as pickpockets are everywhere in the world. Lastly, try to get travel insurance. 
better safe than sorry. Prepare for the culture shock. Cultural shock is common when visiting a new and strange atmosphere but the shock in Africa may be a bit higher. For one, because of your white skin, you may be generally and sometimes wrongly, assumed to be rich. This usually brings along people wanting something from you by asking or helping you out occasionally, beware. If you fall for this, you may go home with an empty pocket. You may also notice a lot of stares and excited greetings from children. All these are harmless gestures and you have nothing to worry about. Remember to wave back though. You should download offline maps. A lot of areas in Africa especially in remote villages do not have Wi-Fi. You may not even get service at all in some areas. So, it would be best for you to download offline maps and save all the places you intend to go to. Like your hotel location, famous restaurants, and any popular location that interests you. There is poverty but not everyone is poor. Unlike what is portrayed in the media and the news, not all of Africa is poor. In the case of Africa, the economic gap is huge. This means poor people are really poor and rich people are really rich with few middle class citizens. So, be prepared to experience a level of poverty when you visit Africa. Prepare for a different means of public transportation. If you're sure you wouldn't let frustration eat you up, you can decide to take public transportation but be ready for a real shocker. From chaotic and extreme traffic jams to careless drivers, you really can't see it anywhere else. But it could be a fun and interesting experience. Some common ones include minibuses, tuk-tuk, bodabodas, trains among others. Although if you're not comfortable with public transportation, you can choose private taxis. Services like Uber and Taxify are also available in Africa's major cities. Educate yourself on the political situation of any country you want to go. Well, this only seems like common knowledge but that doesn't mean we won't remind you. As a first traveler or a seasoned traveler, it would be highly unpleasant and inconvenient to travel to a country when there is political unrest. You should also try to avoid countries during the election period. This period tends to bring out the chaotic nature and determination of the people. The outcomes of the election may also cause a lot of unrest. You can follow international news to know the present political situation of these countries. There are beggars, street kids, and slums. These are very real and rampant in Africa so be prepared to see them. As with human nature, you may feel sorry for them and want to help them out. But if we're being practical, can you help all the poor people on the streets of Africa? It's impossible. Although you may decide to help the one you think needs it but as for the rest, it's best to just smile and reply with a simple next time. Better cash than cards. Although at high-end places in Africa, cards would be acceptable, we don't expect you to be all cooped up in the high-end places. And irrespective of the high-end places, cash remains the highest form of transaction. Most times, especially in rural areas, cards are not acceptable. So, carry enough cash around. You can also always get cash from ATMs. Find out whether you'll require a yellow fever card. Frequent travelers would know this but as a first time traveler, you may not. Some countries require this before letting you into their country. If you don't have it, you may be charged an outrageous amount to acquire it from the port of entry. So, it's better to do it before you set out for your little adventure.